YouTube was good, YouTube. Yo, real quick. So the other day, right? I was in the um I was in the in the woods. And son told me to make a star. So I, I went and I made the star, right? And it's crazy how one thing leads to the next and then the way this spirit got me like on 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 the roller coaster is crazy. So I made a star, right? Out of sticks. Pentagram, right? So then something led me to to another thing. And um and hold on, let me light this amber up real quick. And I wanna talk to y'all. Oh, me my homie, this is my homie right here. He been chilling over here. So let me like this amber. I'm gonna talk about this in a second. For those that don't know what this is, this is called the Buddha hand, right? Buddha hand. My nigga Buddha. I'm gonna get this to this in a second. Let me like this amber. Yo, this amber incense. It's, it's amazing. It smells so good. I can't live without incense. Incense and candles? Must have. That's for me at least. So, damn, I'm gonna fucking lean all over the place. Let me let this spark up. like the antenna there we go boom right here whoops yo my guy hold this for me real quick there we go it's my assistant right here so remember i told you i made this right and um and something something led me to to, to look up like what type of witch? What type of witch am I, right? So I started to look at what type of witch am I, and then I found this, right? Let me show you in a second. So yeah, so like I was telling you about that that pentagram, that star, that like, yo, I go to the, I be going to the to the woods, and like you know, I take my little offering to the to the to the. To the fairies to you know I'd be doing my thing and um and I'd be getting downloads and and shit so so someone told me to make that 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 star that pentagram out of sticks because yo you use it uh, it's natural elements it's natural tree it has power it has energy it's like it's 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 a natural thing so I, I made the star right and then led me to this. What type of witch are you according to your sign, right? The position of the planets when you were born actually give you insight into what into the type of witch you are. Your strength, your weakness, your likes and dislikes. So are you ready to find out what kind of witch you are according to your sign? So we started with the number ones, Aries. Aries. You are a blood witch. You are blessed with the ability to cast powerful candle magic spells and tame the currents of energy. <laughs> you are known for your fiery passion and boldness. You are quite the daredevil. You like your privacy and yet you are very charismatic and sociable. You prefer meditation as a form of magic. You like to accessorize with necklaces, bracelets, and earrings to express yourself. You like to move from place to place and dislike settings in one place for too long. Dislike settling in one place for too long. My bad. So Taurus, you are an elf witch. Yo, this is so true because I seen my sister. My sister's a Taurus. 
My sister's a Taurus, and, and in one dream, I had a weird-ass dream with her. When I was going through, like, I was going through, like, I guess the dark night of the soul type shit. I'm going to talk about that in another video. And I seen her real. That's why I be saying, like, people think that they that you don't look like how you look in the, in the physical and the spiritual. And I seen her. She looked like an imp, like an IMP imp. Kind of like like elfish. And when I seen this, I was like, oh, no, what the fuck? This shit. Now, that's how I know it was true. Because I seen it. So, Taurus, you are an elf witch. You are very well attuned with the power of earth and nature. It's fucking sad because she, she don't even know like her, her real powers. And that's another story, though. You are a garden witch, and you like being in your garden of fruits, herbs, flowers, and vegetables. You are a very good communicator. That's true. She is, which your family and friends love about you. You are determined and you persevere, especially when you want something. Gemini, my brothers, I got well, my brother and my brother-in-law. Gemini. It's funny because these, both of these dudes have the same birthday, <laughs> and one is my brother, and one is my brother. -in -law. Same exact birthday. You are an energy witch. You have an a uh, you have a natural ability to sense change in energy levels around you. You have you have sensitive intuition, and you can easily send in and receive energy to the past, present, and future. You are energetic and you tend to think outside the box. You like lucid dreaming and astral projection. You like to dress in bright and loud colors. You may come off as shallow to some people who cannot handle your charisma, your charisma and positive energy, which leads to you feeling isolated. Hmm. Cancer. My mother's a cancer. What well, was? You are a kitchen witch. <laughs> You like to work magic indoors with the use of supplies like food and remedies. You are a kitchen witch who is always brewing potions. You are you also like home decor. When you love someone, you stick with them for life. You tend to wear dark and muted colors. You communicate with animals pretty well. I guess I get that from my mama. <laughs> Leo, a star in the background. My pops is a Leo. You are an enchanter witch. <laughs> this is yo, it's crazy because my father he got my pops, he'll fucking hypnotize that that man. Sometimes I gotta watch him very carefully because luckily I'm 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 like very aware because this motherfucker will cast a spell on me without me even noticing. <laughs> But he he he'll do it so he wouldn't even know. But that's just his. That's just the power that they have. Like a lot of people don't even know what they're capable of, and they do things unconsciously, and it's insane. But yeah, you are an enchanter witch. You have the natural ability to catch the attention of others, and you crave attachment. You can easily hypnotize people and animals and charm them. <laughs> fucking Leos <laughs> No, I'm just I'm just fucking with y'all Shout out to Leos though You can utilize the natural elements In any way you can Wherever you are Fuck You love crystals and gemstones And candles and oils And essential oils You are very loyal And you keep your promises Virgo The Virgin you are a hermit witch. You can create extremely potent magic as long as you can remain focused. You like to in, you like to reinvent yourself from time to time. You like new beginnings. You tend to be shy and speak only a few words. You don't like to stand out that much. You like indoor plants and small trees. You tend to be a perfectionist, of course. Everybody know that about Virgos. 
And this makes you struggle with anxiety and depression. Your biggest enemy is yourself. With your tendency to get, with your tendency to give off negative vibes. Shit. Libra. A man in a star-filled sky. Hmm. You are a music witch. Usually extremely talented in music, arts, and craft. You can easily create your spells and you're excellent with healing spells. You like the you like the men you like the men broken relationships and resolve arguments. You like to utilize tarot cards to keep people advice. To give people advice. My bad, let me read that again. I'm bugging. You like to utilize tarot cards to give people advice and help them heal. You like baking pastries and enjoy your time in the kitchen. You prioritize comfort over style and like to dress in laid back clothes. Scorpio. You are traditionally you are a traditional witch who likes darkness. You are a nocturnal witch who feels more active and inspired during the midnight hours when darkness asserts its dominance. It doesn't mean you like dark magic. It only means you are great at perceiving what's hidden. You like to know everything you like to know everyone's history and you also like to commune with the dead. You like to dress up in black. You have the ability to manage and control your emotions. You are known for your beauty and confidence. Sagittarius. You are a thunder witch. You have you have a great ability to direct a very focused current of energy towards whatever you desire. You are wise and fair. You are clairvoyant and you tend to see things before they happen. You enjoy some hain, some ha- some hain. I don't know what's that. Got to look that up. You enjoy Sam Hain. Oh, Sam Hain. You enjoy contacting the dead. What's up with y'all necromancers, yo? <laughs> you tend to dress in dark. You tend to dress in deep and dark colors. No wonder I kept hearing necromancy, necromancy. Ne- like for the past three days, I kept hearing that, ne- that, that word pop into my head, necromancer, necromancer. I don't know. And I... Couldn't pinpoint why. It's weird, but who knows? Anyways, Capricorn. You are a traditional green witch who can easily assert your magical dominance both in nature. It's funny because when I seen this article, I told my son, my um my six year old, he's a Capricorn. And I was like, Papa, you you know you are you are um you're you're earth witch, like you're a green witch? And he was like, Oh, okay. And the other day, we when I told him that, like we went to to this park, right, nature park, and and he was like, "Daddy, I'm a earth witch, right?" And I was like, "Yeah, you have the power over the elements." And he was like, "Okay." And that day, this boy found a black, a big piece of black obsidian, a big stone, and he and I was like, "Wow." That, <laughs> You see, you are an earth witch. And he was like just looking at me and and he carries a stone all over the place like that. He's like, Daddy, I'm gonna take care of this stone. And we was like, Yeah, that's 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 gonna protect you. We explained to him like what does the stone do and all this stuff and he was just like in awe. But yeah. Anyways, sidetracking. You are a traditional green witch who can easily assert your magical dominance both in nature. You can tap into nature's power and are connected to the spirit world. You like regular you like regularity and consistency in your life. You are focused on a singular goal and you cannot be distracted from it. That's true about Capricorns. <laughs> you like to dress yourself in black clothes, clothing and hate lay, layering on clothes. That's true, my son. Yo, this shit is is crazy. So accurate. At home, your magic, your magical items are organized. Everything has to be in its place. <laughs> now, Aquarius. 
Like I was telling you, you are a star witch. You are very well attuned with the orbs of the planets and stars. And you like planetary magic. That's why I got this book. It's crazy how this this led to that. It's, it's fun. It's amazing. You like looking at the moon and stars. You are surrounded by people who are attracted to your positive and friendly nature. You devote your time and energy helping your loved ones. You might not be the best conversationalist, and you come across as withdrawn and detached. I'm sorry, y'all, but this is so fucking true, and I just cannot help it. I don't know why. Hey, everybody, I, that's, I don't know. I, I am very detached, and it, it, but the thing about me is that my mind is always in this. I'm always in space, to be honest. I'm, I'm always out there. So I can't, uh, and it's crazy because I'm, I used to not be like this, but ever since like I I got like very in tune with spirituality, I be I be out like I'm I'm not here. <laughs> Plus Christ said be in this world, but not of this world. So that probably explains why. And last but not least, Pisces, a star filled sky. You are a pastel fairy witch. You can easily meddle with the fairy with the fairy world and transcend the physical plane. So my my youngest one, he's a he's a Pisces, right? So I, you know, I I be telling my kids all these spiritual things and and they're not like your usual like your 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 usual kids. I be trying to like you know plant a lot of fucking spiritual seeds in them. And my my little one, my 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 um my Pisces, like I told him this, I'm like I'm like um you're a fairy witch, and I explained to him and and all these things. So every time we go outside, like to the woods and stuff, he's always looking for mushrooms because I tell him that the fairies they live in the mushrooms, and he's always like collecting mushrooms and all that. The other day he had like ten mushrooms, he filled up his pockets with mushrooms, and I'm like, dude, you. You you messing up the houses for the fairies, man. And he's like, but I like it. And I'm like, all right, whatever. So he's always seeing things and seeing that he could see and and he can see things. So I don't know if that's like the fairies fucking like communicating with him. I don't know. He that kid is is way out there. Like I'll be thinking like sometimes like I'm very spiritual, but. but I think my kids make me look like a kid when it comes to spirituality because these kids are just naturally in tune, yo. And I'll be like, yo, how do... They'll tell me shit, and I'll be like, yo, how the fuck do you know this? Like, it's crazy. Talking about them, they're coming upstairs right now, so let me wrap this up. You can also easily invite fairies in your life and establish a firm and fruitful connection with those in the fae realm. You are imaginative and creative and have inner peace. You easily get along with people around you and flourish easily in any environment. Yo, this is crazy. You are probably into writing, home decoring, and expressing yourself in floral fashion. He loves flowers. This He loves flowers. Like This is, this is so accurate. Anyway... Let me get off this before the, the this hurricane is coming. I can hear them coming up the stairs. Y'all, let me know what kind of witch you are in the comment. Let, let's chop it up. Let's see what's up with y'all. Anyways, I'm out. Peace. So, yeah, as y'all can see, right? So, that, um, this, this Buddha hand, right? I was in the grocery store yesterday. And I seen this, and I was like, this is like my second time seeing it. And I was like, what is that? So it was labeled Buddha hand. I was like, oh. I didn't, I didn't even, I didn't look at the price. I didn't look at nothing. I just grabbed it, put it in the car. I was like, all right, there's something behind this, because I know how spirit be working, right? So I purchased it. Actually, I didn't even purchase it, because... Cause when I went to the to the counter, the the dude, the, the it was this 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 white older gentleman, right? He he was like, "What is this?" And 
And I was like, you Buddha hands. Buddha. He ain't even he ain't even heard of none of that. No no Buddha or none of that. So he's looking through through um he's looking through through I guess they have a um like an inventory, like a like a like a list of the stuff that they have. Cause he's looking for the price, right? So he can't find it and he's looking for it. He can't find it. And he's like, Shh, between me and you, I'ma give it to you for free. I was like, Okay. Thank you, bro. Thank you. Like I really appreciate it. Thank you. But I ain't wanna make it hot. I ain't wanna like like draw too much attention because you're giving it to me for free. I don't even know how much it costs. So, you know? nigga so so I, I dip i went home man so on my way home i'm like let me look up the spiritual meaning for, for buddha hands because because it's crazy because three days ago i did a mantra i did a, um, a mantra on um green tara right i did a green tara mantra and green and, and tara, green tara tara is like the, the female buddha She's the female Buddha. And look how, how, yo, yo, portals, man. One portal lead to another portal. You go through a wormhole information. You come out to another one, and then another one, and to another one, and then that's, and then we're here. So, let me show y'all, uh, let me show y'all this real quick. Hey, y'all, so, wow, the, I'm hearing church bells. Ringing. There's a spiritual meaning for that too. I ain't even gonna get into that. Uh, so yeah, so like I told y'all yesterday about this fruit. So look what it means: luck and prosperity. And I catching and an eye catching citrus fruit. The name Buddha's hand referred to the similarity of the fruit's shape to that of a praying hand. <laughs> Because of this is often given as a spiritual gift. Let me repeat that. Because of this, it's often given as a spiritual gift in Buddhist communities as a token representing luck and prosperity. Yo, I picked this hand up, the dude gave it to me for free. He was like, yo, I'm gonna give it I'ma give it to you as a gift for free. Like but it, it wasn't even him, though. I could tell it was just the spirit. Like, like people are just... Like, the ones that are aware, they it comes directly from them. Because they, they connect it to source, the source within them. And then they can... Just like Christ. Christ says that um that I, he sits at the right-hand side of the Father. That's my... That means that he... He, he can't... He, you know, he's he's connected to the source. But sometimes the source just comes through people, even though the people are not even aware <laughs> that they are connected to the source. Like, so, you know, and I can see when when when, it's, when spirit is talking through people and when spirit is manifesting through people, even though the people themselves are unaware of what's going on. But I can see these things. And, and it's, it was so dope, man. It's so awesome. And it's crazy because this article is. February 16th, <laughs> that's aqua, that's two days after my birthday, and I'm February 14th, so it's, it's crazy how all these, but yeah, I just thought I'd share that with y'all. Yeah, y'all, so, so me, since I'm a, um, I'm an Aquarius, right? Y'all know that. So, um, I'm a star witch. I remember because when I was on... Like, it's crazy. Spirit has showed me so much. Like, during that DMT trip, that most of the things that I didn't even understand. So, like, fast forward. And I'm still, it's still unraveling as I go. Because it was just so much. So, it, it showed me, like, I saw the universe. I was sucked up to, to like, the stars type shit. And I'm observing and I'm seeing all the galaxies and all that shit. So, I kind of find out I'm a fucking star witch. I'm always seeing shooting stars. Like, last, the past month, I've seen three shooting stars. One over my house, 
two while I was driving. It's crazy. And, and the funny thing, it was the second one I seen like two weeks ago. I'm driving a, my trailer because I drive a long ass trailer, right? So I'm looking for diesel, right? I'm looking for diesel. I'm on empty. My tank is on empty, yo. And I'm like, fuck, I'm gonna get stuck. This shit is about to die, right? Like my my truck is about to die. Cause I ain't had no diesels. Every fucking spot was closed. Like every diesel spot was closed. So I, I get out of the highway and I go into this town because I looked on I looked on Google and it's telling me that they got diesel and they open 24 hours. So I'm like, bet. I was like 10 minutes away. Boom. So Mind you, I got no diesel. This shit is about to shut off any second. And I'm over here talking to the universe. I'm like, yo, universe, please, please do not let me get stuck. Because for those that know, um, when you get stuck, when, you, when your diesel engine gets stuck, it's a headache to turn that shit back on. So it's not like regular fuel, regular gas. So anyway, I ain't even going to get into the mechanics of that. So, boom, I get to the, to the diesel spot, right? The nigga tell me there's no diesel. I'm like, what the fuck? What am I gonna do now? Like, and I'm 20 minutes away from, from like where I gotta deliver. Mind you, I'm mad late. I'm like two hours late. They blowing on my phone like, yo, where you at? Where you at? Where's the load? This and that, da, da, da. I'm over here sweating. I'm like, fuck. So I'm like, I, I look for another spot, and the spot that's open is right next to where I gotta deliver. So I called them. I'm like, yo, y'all open? They're like, yeah, we got diesel. Boom, boom, boom. And I'm like, fuck, but that's, they like 20 minutes away. And I'm like, I don't even think my truck is gonna make it. So then I look up. Phew, a shooting star. Yo, this shit was like the, the longest shooting star I've ever seen. It stood at least for four seconds. And it disappeared, and I was like, oh, that's why I, I, spirit diverted me to here. Because if I would have went straight to the diesel shop, I would have missed it. I wouldn't have seen it. And I'm like, I, right. so then I had more confidence. I was like, fuck it. I know spirit got me. I know this. I know the universe got me, so I'm going to make it. Mind you, my fucking truck made it to the, to the, um, it made it all the way to the diesel spot. I filled up and I went and I dropped my shit and I, I did what I had to do. But all that happened so I could see that star, that shooting star. It's insane, man. So since I'm a um I'm a Star Wars, right? Aquarius, I'm a Star Wars. Shout out to my aquas out there. So I, you know, one one thing leads to the next. So I I got led to this book, right? I got led to this book. So this star, right? I tat this is when I first saw the tattoo, I tattooed I tattooed the same similar star right here on my knee. Let me see if I can get it and show it to you. So I tattooed, but this one is a twelve. It's a twelve point. This one is a seven. For the seven planets, right? So I I did this star from the from the um I got this star from the from the the keys of Solomon. Frank told me to just fucking tattoo that shit. So I, that was my first tattoo of me learning on myself. And I tatted on myself. And I did it. So now I'm seeing how one thing leads to the next. And I'm like, ah, that's why I did that. And that's why this is happening. And that's why I'm seeing this. And then all these alignments. It's insane. So I got this book, right? Planetary Magic. Dope book. I just started it. I haven't, I just started it, and, um, and it's all making sense now, it's all making sense now to me, from when I seen that fucking, the UFO in Ohio, and, like, this is fucking crazy, yo, all this unraveling is insane, sometimes I don't even want to come over here, because it's like, what, like, I, but, yeah, I'm a Star Wars, so, now I'm gonna, I'm gonna go full, like, channel all my energy into this, like, into doing planetary magic and see how that works. Because I know you can do things in the spirit, and this book talk about that shit, like, moving things in the spirit and, and all that. They also talk about the, um, like, 
the Egyptian deities, you got all the Egyptian deities, the Greek and the Hindu, and they all syncretize, syncretize that as like one. And and I've been and I know in this book, this book is just confirming all that, like how to pull the energy and all that. And I kind of like low key been doing that already, but this is like a um, this book has been like a confirmation. And as well as it has more little tools and more more things that I could pick up on and learn like on on how to how to like I guess sharpen, strengthen and and you know, pick up different 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 methods on how to how to do this stuff. So I'm I'm about to dive into this. This is like my this is like my next book that I'm diving into. Planetary magic. And anyways, that's it, that's all. I'm out.